Danny Morrison, you're kind of the enemy of our 1500 meter skeeters. Uh, I guess that's a good thing for me, right? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, it's my distance, so I like to do as best as I can at it. And uh, hopefully this season my goal is to get on top of the podium a few more times. Yeah, you know that the Dutch are famous for for being on the on the podium on the 1500 meters. It's already for for many many years in our history, and we like to win the 1500. And we don't like Danny Morrison, of course, we <laughs> like it too. But you really competitor. I mean, you're there since you there. You're always good. I've managed to stay up on the podium quite a few times, but uh, I mean, there's been a lot of competition from the Dutch, and uh, I'm sure that I'm sure they're going to be strong again at the end of the season. So. Uh, I'm, I'm not counting any of them out yet. <laughs> How do you manage to be so stable? Because you're one of the more stable guys on this distance. I don't know about that. I tend to start my seasons usually pretty slow and then build progressively up throughout the whole season. So uh, I'm hoping that I can close the gap between me and Shawnee and uh, catch up to where he's at because he's just crushing everybody now. Yeah, Shawnee is the man to beat. Shawnee is, is so extremely good also on the 1,000 meters. Your 1,000 is also okay. It's okay. Um, I have a lot of different things I can work on for sure, and I think in the 1500 too. Just uh, it's not totally comfortable on my skates yet. Is the 1500 really, uh, really the goal for Vancouver and your home country? Uh, 1000, 1500. They kind of go hand in hand, I think, for a middle distance skater like me or like Shawnee or a lot of guys. But and, and it's good that Vancouver is not so fast uh, because you, it's better. It's a better track for you probably for the thousand. For the thousand, I think yeah, because I can give a bit more on the last lap and so uh, some of the sprinters might not have as easy of some of the sprinters might have as easy of a time on the last lap if you here in Herfein might be uh, drawn together with Stefan Grothuis or uh, other, one of the other uh, Dutch guys where would you beat him in which part of the 1500 every part <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know I usually actually don't really put too much emphasis on my pair in my race I just try to race my own race and uh no, and no matter who's your um the opponent uh sometimes I mean sometimes you know for sure their style of skating like at the world championships in 2008 against Sven I knew that uh, I'd hopefully be able to open faster than him and stuff like that but uh yeah I don't I don't know exactly how how Stefan uh skates his race yeah. you can be happy with leaving Herofame without a medal on the 1500 probably not <laughs> Uh, it's funny actually like sometimes you have a really good race and you get fourth and you're unhappy because you never got on the podium But you should be happy because you had a good race and other times uh, Maybe you do get a silver medal or something, but you had a really bad race and you just got lucked out And so uh, I think you have to put things in perspective sometimes and realize oh, I had a good race um, I need to build off of that rather than get sad about it Well, anyway, if we Dutch people will see you skating the 1500 in 144 or 145 and you win we will be happy for you. That's awesome. I love skating in Herbank because the Dutch fans are so so loud and they cheer for me too. So that's cool.